Okay, now we're gonna look at factoring an ax squared plus bx plus c trinomial. We have two different commonly used methods that can be used for this. So I'm going to first do the ac method. So this is the ac method, or it can also be called the diamond or the cross method. Okay, so this first method, let's say we have the trinomial 6x squared minus 13x minus 28. Okay, so in this method, we want to label our a, b, and c. So a is with our x squared, b is with our x, c is the constant. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little x here, or a big x, and in this x, we're gonna put a times c in the top, and we're gonna put b in the bottom. Okay, so a times c, six times negative 28, gotta get my calculator out for that one, that's gonna give us negative 168. Okay, and then b is gonna be negative 13. Okay, then what we wanna do is we are looking for factors of 168 that multiply to 13. So we want things that are gonna multiply to negative 168, but they're also gonna add or combine to negative 13. And we're gonna put those two numbers on the two sides of our x's. Okay, so just for uh, time's sake, those numbers are gonna be eight and 21. Okay, so we're gonna put those here. So I'm gonna put my eight here and my 21 here. Now it doesn't matter where you put which one, okay, because then we will uh, work that out but here we have eight, and this is gonna be a negative 21 because of negative 13. So eight minus 21, negative 13, eight times negative 21, negative 168. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to split the negative 13x into these two terms. So I'm going to have six x squared, and then this is gonna to split to a positive eight x, and that comes from this eight here, and a negative 21x, which comes from this negative 21 here. And then I bring down the negative 28. So what I did was I took the 13 and I split it into the two factors. So if I were going backwards from foiling, okay, this would be my final step right before I get my answer, where I would combine these two like terms. Okay, now what we're gonna do is factor by grouping. So this is where I said the order doesn't matter. So you just wanna make sure that you can factor this by grouping. Uh, six and eight are going to have a common term, and 21 and 28 will as well. So this is okay to factor by grouping. If you couldn't find a GCF for either of these, you would just switch them. So you'd put the 21 here and the eight here. Okay, so now factor by grouping, we take out a GCF. So this GCF is going to be a two X. So six X squared divided by two X is gonna give me a three X. And then 8x divided by 2x is going to give me a positive 4. Okay, then I'm going to take a GCF out of here. Negative 21 and negative 28. So that is going to have a GCF of negative 7. And negative 21 divided by negative 7 is a 3x. And negative 28 divided by negative 7 is a positive 4. Okay, and I took the negative out because I want these two guys to be the same, because if I'm factoring by grouping, okay, these get my group. I get a two x minus seven. And then essentially what I'm doing is I'm factoring out a three x plus four. So these get one factor on their own, three x plus four. Okay, so now I've successfully factored this. I do want to check my work to make sure that this is correct. So if I FOIL this, I have 2x times 3x, I get 6x squared. 2x times 4, 8x. Negative 7 times 3x, negative 21x. Negative 7 times 4, negative 28. I'm back up to here. If I combine these two terms, I get my negative 13x. Okay, so we've just factored, pulled it apart, put it back together. Okay, your final answer here, 2x minus 7, 3x plus 4. The next video, I'm going to show you the different method, which is the mistake method.